Yo, it's your boy, Smoke Buther Madden video, and in today's Madden video, it is episode 9 of the Las Vegas Raiders gameplay franchise. This week against the Indianapolis Colts, as you see right here, the Chargers are 6-2, they're first in the AFC West, we are 6-2 as well, we're second in the AFC West. If you guys missed episode 8, link will be down in the description below to get you guys see the last one. I mean, you can see we won against the Jaguars right there, but if you guys want to watch it, just for the enjoyment of simply being able to watch it and being caught up better... Go ahead, link will be in the description. And with us being around in the middle season, or the middle of the season, we're just going to go ahead and go over the stats, the mid-season stats. Derek Carr, 1,881 passing yards, 17 passing touchdowns, and only three interceptions. Now, that is amazing, amazing numbers in the middle of the season by Derek Carr. Josh Jacobs, you know, he's having some good numbers. Um, Honestly, I think he's doing better in real life. But this is still not bad by any means. 581 yards and five rushing touchdowns. A little bit. The fumbles are kind of high for Josh Jacobs. Three fumbles. Derek Carr, he has one rushing touchdown. He has three fumbles as well. So a little bit of fumble fumbling. Michael Pittman, our newest wide receiver that we traded for our last or two episodes. Uh, he has two rushes for 12 yards. Devontae Adams with 756 um, yards. Uh, also, eight touchdowns for Devontae Adams. Uh, Josh Jacobs, he's in the receiving game a little bit, but there's all the stats for the receivers. Don't got to go one by one for them. Uh, on the defensive side of the ball, uh, Max Crosby leads the team in tackles for loss. Max Crosby leads the team in sacks. Rocky Sin, he's been having an amazing uh, playing on this gameplay franchise. He has four interceptions. And we are now on kickoff. Now the Colts are kicking off to us. We are receiving first. Amir Adula is going to go and return this one. He's going to bring it to the around 26-yard line. So one yard better if we just want to take it and kneel. Offense is taking the field now. And we're just going to go ahead and start with running slants. Um, Mac Holland's running the slant closest to me. It's probably what I'm going to be eyeing up the most. At the very end, he becomes open. But Stephon Gilmore... Just makes a great play on it. I mean, Stephon Gilmore just reached for that ball and just batted it straight down. So, I mean, he was open just. I mean, Stephon Gilmore, he's a really good cornerback. We go around the corner routes. Um, nothing really open. We take a check down to Josh Jacobs right there. So, it's now third and seven to start off the game. Uh, Michael Pittman running a drag route. Probably going to eye him up here. Yeah, and he's wide open in the middle of the field. Pretty interesting that uh, the, the one team, or... One of the teams I did it. Oh, God, Colton Miller is fucking injured. So that's really great. Uh, he's our starting left tackle. But what I was saying is it's pretty cool that the one team that I, or one of the teams I did a trade with, we are facing. Um, Tyron Johnson, he was kind of open there, but not the greatest ball by Derek Carr. But uh, I got Kenny Moore and Michael Pittman in a trade uh, against, uh, for, against the Colts, obviously. Uh, where we traded away Hunter Renfro and Trevon Mooring and a pick. That was right before the trade deadline. So it'll be pretty interesting to see if Hunter Renfro does anything against us because he was not doing good with us. Matt Collins on the slant right here, though. It's going to get us a first down on the third and seven. But Hunter Renfro was just being super lackluster on this team. Give it to Josh Jacobs. He's going to get a first down a little bit more. Around 14 yards on that carry, I'd say. Josh Jacobs, I mean, the guy is just an absolute unit like he has been so good in this in this gameplay franchise and in real life uh nothing open here Derek Carr tried to throw it away but they say it's a fumble now I literally wanted the instant replay because I don't know let me know what you guys think I think he is easily the ball is easily going f forward look it goes forward that it hits his that it hits the defender's like shoulder and makes it pop up everywhere. I do not think this is a fumble at all. Because look, Derek Carr drops back and the motion is forward. His hand is going forward. Let me know what you guys think. Go ahead and comment down below what you think. Anyway, we're able to get them to punt right here. But we would have got some points on the board at least. We at least would have got a field goal out of that. Um, if that wasn't for that fumble call. Um. I don't know. Comment what you guys think below, but I do not think that was a fumble at all. Uh, we get the ball back at the 26-yard line again, so we're starting at the 26-yard line again. On the season, Josh Jacobs, 115 rushes, 
598 yards and five rushing touchdowns. All right, and we're, we're going to go ahead and start off with a run to Jacobs right here. Uh, he's able to get through and get 10 yards, so Josh Jacobs able to get the first down. I'm just still really pissed about that fumble. I, I, don't, I don't think that was a fumble at all. Give it to Jacobs again here. Not much blocking for him, but he was still able to get two yards. Last week, Josh Jacobs, 23 rushes, 124 yards. Wasn't able to get a touchdown, though, but still a really good game for Josh Jacobs. This play, I think I'm going to be... Honestly, I really like uh, Drive Flood. I think like a lot of people are open. Uh, targeted Mac Hollins there. Stephon Gilmore, again, making good defensive play. Stephon Gilmore has been pretty active so far this game. Pretty early on, too. It's still the first quarter. All right. It is third and eight. We're going to Josh Jacobs. And he's not able to get there. And Illuminor... Uh, our other tackle, or he's probably moved to guard since we traded for Rob Hammonstein, but another one of our offensive linemen to go down, so that is not good at all. Hopefully these injuries are not that serious, but we're going to have to go ahead and punt this ball away. All right, Isaiah Rogers is the return man, not able to get much of a return at all, and they weren't able to generate much offense. We have to have a three and out, and we get the ball back, and we are at their 24-yard line now, 17 after that completion of Jacobs. All right, running some drag routes here, pretty cheesy. Uh, not much open. We're going to take off with Derek Carr. Derek Carr is able to make it 3-1. and one. So, ooh, hurry up offense because I'm pretty risky. Hopefully, Devontae Adams is open on the drag. Nothing, literally nothing is open. We've got to throw this ball away. If I just would have not called hurry up offense and just calm down, we got the first down. But I'm going for it anyway because I got some big-ass balls, okay? Fullback dive, and I don't know how the Colts were that unprepared for a fullback dive on a fourth and one. Uh, we were able to get 10 yards on a fullback dive, though. So, you know, it pays to have big balls, you know. All right, we're going to go ahead and this one off to Jacobs at the four-yard line. Josh Jacobs is powering in. Josh Jacobs, my man, one of my favorite Raiders. He's able to get the touchdown. All right, now extra point from Daniel Carlson, one of the best kickers in the league. And it is good. All right, so the score is now 7 nothing. The Colts, they are on the 11-yard line already shortly after they get the ball. And they might be, they'll probably get some points out of this. Hopefully just a field goal. They throw to Hunter Renfro on a slant, and Hunter Renfro gets a touchdown. How fucking fitting. Hunter Renfro against his former team is able to get a touchdown. He did not do that at all. In this gameplay franchise, he was not that good at all. All right, the game is now tied 7-7. Seven to seven. I am not too worried, though, because our defense has not been bad at all. Uh, second and inches when we get the ball here. Give it to Josh Jacobs. Not able to go anywhere. Actually loses yards. We're going to give it to him again, though. I just have this much faith in Josh Jacobs. I really do. He's just really that good. And he's able to get the first down. It is third and two. But now it is first and 10 after Josh Jacobs gets that first down. This is the end of the quarter. We uh, The Colts actually have more passing yards than us. I'm kind of shocked to believe that. But to be honest, I really haven't been passing a whole lot so far this episode. All right, we're going to audible to verticals here. Probably look at it underneath or out to Jacobs just because it's normally the safest, safest. RB was actually but naked wide open, but I saw that way too late. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give it to Jacobs again here. I mean, like, I know you guys are probably tired of me watching give the ball to Jacobs, but he normally does good. That time he did not. It was did not get a yard. All right, now we need ten yards here. Probably gonna look for Adams right on this on this uh, route here, and he is not really open but if you have a guy named Devontae Adams throw him the ball because he will do that he was not Devontae Adams was not that open gonna go put Devontae Adams on a shriek here just to burn the man and ah uh, sadly Devontae Adams was not able to grab that normally Devontae Adams would get that 50-50 ball 10 out of 10 times but clearly it's only 9 out of 10 times I'm gonna do it go ahead and try to do a shriek here again on Tyron Johnson, hopefully just burn his quarterback, and 
No, okay, that 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 definitely did not work. It was better doing with Adams. Derek Carr is going to use his legs though, and he's going to get the first down, making it first and goal. Derek Carr using his legs. You don't see that very often. All right, giving the ball to Jacobs at the two yard line, and DeForest Buckner literally eats him. Literally, Josh Jacobs got just got eight. Um, so it's now the fourth yard line. I don't know. I don't honestly know what we're gonna do here. Uh, we might. We might just. All right. We're going to verticals. I guess. I. I don't know. I just would really rather run, but obviously the run did not work right there. Get a target, Jacobs, and I truck way too early. That was honestly a mistake by me. And it's third and goal, on the third on the three yard line. I. I think we just gotta go with the run. Like, I know you guys are probably really pissed at me just running because obviously it's more entertaining when you have a passing game. But uh, give it to Josh Jacobs here, and he's able to power in. Josh Jacobs with the second touchdown of the game. So, yeah, Josh Jacobs, second touchdown of the game. He's got all the touchdowns for the Rangers. This is a pretty low-scoring match. This is definitely a defensive match. There's been a lot of punts, a lot of punts. All right, it is now two minutes left in the fourth quarter. The Colts have the ball. They can still maybe spark up something. They're only down by one possession, and that is intercepted by Rocky Sin, his fifth interception of the season. Rocky Sin is having a phenomenal season. I, I don't know. Words cannot explain how happy I am that Rocky Sin just got a game-sealing interception. We had to punt the ball away, unfortunately. We weren't able to chew that much clock. But they gotta make a hill Mary, a hill Mary. So this game is in the bag already. Um, I would say the stars of the game are definitely Josh Jacobs and Rocky Sin. Um, yeah, Rocky Sin, he's been pretty phenomenal this season. The first, the first three games, he got an interception in both of those games, and he had one pick six. So Rocky Sin is definitely the reason why we've won some games. Um, he's definitely one of the factors of why we won this game. Uh, that's your third. Right yep, zero zero. Low scoring match, but it was still a really good game. There was a lot of, a lot of moments where I gotta say, normally I do pretty good with Derek Carr, but I didn't do great with him this game. I will say that Josh Jacobs, I did, I did pretty good with him. I'd say, um, it's okay because Derek Carr has had a really great season, so he can have off games every now and then. In this gameplay franchise, at least I know that's not true in real life. Uh, Derek Carr with a better rating than Matt Ryan. Uh, Matt Ryan with more passing yards. Matt Ryan with one passing touchdown and one interception. Josh Jacobs with 100 yards and two touchdowns. Jonathan Taylor with only five attempts for 28 yards. Derek Carr, two attempts, 14 yards. Jacob Johnson, the fullback on the fullback dive, got 10 yards. Devontae Adams, four receptions, only 37 yards. Jonathan Taylor with four receptions. Josh Jacobs with four receptions. Michael Pittman, three receptions and 39 yards. Michael Pittman's been kind of quiet. Hunter Renfro, only two receptions, 18 yards, but one of them was a touchdown. Darren Waller, a pretty quiet game as well. Two receptions, 11 yards. Matt Collins, two receptions, 24 yards. The receiving game was pretty quiet because the passing game was kind of quiet. So not, not a great game for the receivers or our quarterback, Derek Carr, but you know, Josh Jacobs was able to show up. Tackles for loss. Yannick Nagakwe, the former Raider, and DeForest Buckner, and of course, Rocky Sin had that game ceiling interception. Make sure you guys go and leave a like and subscribe for more Madden content. Bye.